Shalawan. Came across an article. So um, I want to highlight it. This is uh, out of Rowan County. Uh, Rowan County is in Salisbury, North Carolina, on the outskirts of uh, Charlotte. Um, this article is about a so-called black woman. Um, she purchased some land um, with a dream, with a dream of being um, a mobile hairstylist until her Gentile neighbor um, disturbed her um, her purchase of the um, the land um, across the street. She says, I cried for a long time. Black hair, um, so-called black hair stylist dream crushed by racist Gentile neighbor. Um, Angel Pittman, Pittman's dream was to create a mobile hair salon. So the 21-year-old stylist bought less than an acre of unrestricted land in North Carolina for $10,000 in September and purchased three school buses for $14,000 with money she has saved since she was 17. Um, I've never seen anybody driving around doing people's hair, she said, but not only did I want to get paid for doing hair, but I wanted to drive around do a couple of homeless people's hair and maybe go to some prisons and help incarcerated people. Pittman's plan was to place the buses on the land, transform one into a living space and turn the other two into mobile salons. She could do hair on her property, set up shop in different locations or do house calls. But that goal was crushed before it even began because of where Pittman chose to buy land, Salisbury, a small, city in Rowan County, North Carolina. When she first visited the property and later during the closing of the land, she felt something was off in the predominantly Gentile so-called white neighborhood, but forged ahead with her plans. During the closing, Pittman encountered an elderly Gentile so-called white man who lived across her property, who said, who she said had already given me weird vibes, but there were no indications of his intolerance. Okay, I'm going to leave a link in the description. I'm going to read um, a little bit of this article, and then I'm going to um, draw some scripture, and I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, about a week after closing, on September 23rd, she returned with her mom to drop off the buses this time, she said the man approached them and asked, why are you guys here? Are y'all looking for shade? Rowan County, which is 79% Gentile, so-called white, and 17% Hebrew, so-called black, is a sundown town, a Jim Crow era term used to reference overwhelmingly Gentiles, so-called white neighborhoods known for racial segregation. Catherine Mellon Sharon, a history professor at North Carolina State University, said sundown areas remain prevalent in places like Rowan County to limit home ownership from so-called black Americans, which is no such thing. Um, so-called blacks are Hebrews, um, also known as Israelites. The Jim Crow saying was, uh, Niger's uh, don't let the sun go down on you in this town. Historically, it functions economically and politically to the benefit of Gentiles, so-called white supremacists. Melon Sharon said it's a matter of economic insecurity and rising economic inequality in these and the sense that heathens Gentile so-called white property values will go down if so-called Hebrews or Israelite people move into the neighborhood and real estate agents blockbusting and taking advantage of that. Though demographics of many sundown counties like Rowan have shifted slightly, 
Adrian Lynn Smith, a history professor at Duke University, said legacies remain and memories are long. Few towns still post signs that warn Hebrews or Israelite folks. When Pittman returned with her parents, it should have been her husband, but when she returned with her parents a week after dropping the buses off, the neighbor's behavior became more violent. He, the neighbor, the Gentile, the heathen, sat over there and had his gun out the whole time, she said, trying to intimidate her. He was like, get the fuck off my lawn and that we need to get them get them fucking buses off his lawn. So basically saying my land was his. Now these, now I'm going to pause for a second. Um, the so-called um, white man um, being heathens and being Gentiles, they still have this deep-seated hatred for Israelites or so-called um, blacks in this um, land that that is not theirs originally. Um, the so-called whites stole this land through rape, robbery, and murder of the indigenous people that were here uh, before they um, came across the, the oceans. Um, and it's going to take for so-called Gentiles being, uh, uh, I mean, uh, so-called whites being Gentiles to police their own race and um, if there are um, so-called whites that are um, um, saying that they are not racist, then they're going to have to be anti-racist and they're going to have to police their own people in order for things to change. But these um, neutral so-called whites, they can't control the so-called whites that are um, that have a deep-seated hatred for so-called blacks. The, the uh, white supremacists pretty much dominate the neutral whites um, when it be when it comes to being militant. Um, so let me continue. She then noticed her buses had been vandalized. The glass windows were broken. Racial slurs were etched. The man prominently displayed Confederate flags, swastikas and KKK signs all over his yard, which Pittman said weren't there when she previously visited the plot. So he went on full display since he wanted to make a statement to this uh, so-called black woman moving into the neighborhood. Seeing the vandalism and afraid, seeing the vandalism and afraid, her land and buses could have been wired with bombs or bear traps, she called the police. When the Rwanda County Sheriff's Office deputy arrived, Pittman and her parents reported. Pittman and her parents reported. What they saw as a hate crime, but the deputies at the scene immediately brushed it off, telling her, "Oh yeah, they do that all the time." Pittman said. The police talked to us for a little bit, but they didn't do anything. They just wrote a report, and that was it. In an interview with The Guardian, one of the sheriff captains, Mark McDaniel, said the officers who went to the scene knew the elderly man and did observe the damage, the broken windows, and the stuff that was spray painted on. When asked about the recourse for the attack, McDaniel said the incident happened before he started at the office. However, he said, according to the report filed by the deputies, there is no indication that it was a targeted attack because the neighbor always had white supremacy signs displayed. It wasn't like he put it there overnight. McDaniel said that McDaniel said from the information available in the report from that day. It's nothing like that. So those items were not just put there after the buses were put there. Okay, well, and that's enough. I'm going to leave a link in the description. And I'm going to pull the scripture concerning us Hebrews versus um, these heathens. 
uh, these so-called whites and the Gentiles. This is Jeremiah 50, um, 51 and um, 44. And I will punish Baal in Babylon, and I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he hath swallowed up, and the nations shall not flow together any more unto him. Yea, that the wall of Babylon shall fall. My people go ye out of the midst of her, being the so-called Americans. Uh, unsubscribe from these Americans. I just put up a video um, about religion versus the Bible. And um, religion is what so-called whites actually use to conquer the minds, the hearts, the mind being the heart of the so-called Hebrews, um, also known as Israelites, so-called blacks. Um, and this is a perfect article depicting the deep-seated hatred that these um, these heathens have for uh, so-called blacks. Uh, 45. My people, go ye out of the midst of her and deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. And lest your heart, your mind, faint and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come one year and after that in another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land, ruler against ruler. 47. Therefore, behold, the days come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon. You so-called white people are going to pay for your deep-seated hatred against the so-called blacks. This is not hate. This is just an article highlighting an incident that took place recently in so-called America, a.k.a. the daughter of Babylon. Uh, a rumor shall both come one year, and after that in another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land, ruler against ruler. Therefore, behold, the days come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon, and her whole land shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. Then the heaven and the earth and all that is therein shall sing for Babylon, for the spoiler shall come unto her from the north, saith the Lord. As Babylon hath, hath caused the slain of Israel, so-called blacks, to fall, so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. Yea, have, yea, yea, 50, yea, that have escaped the sword, go away, stand not still, remember the Lord afar off, and let Jerusalem come into your mind. So the ones that get away from the judgment are going to have a message on their, on their hearts. And they're going to recall what just took place, what judgment just took place. And they're going to spread that message to whom, um, to whom it may concern. 48. Then the heaven and the earth and all that is therein shall sing for Babylon, for the spoilers shall come unto her from the north and from the north, saith the Lord. As Babylon have caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. Ye that have escaped the sword, go away, stand not still, remember the Lord afar off, and let Jerusalem come into your mind. 51. We are confounded because we have heard reproach. Shame have covered our faces, for strangers are come into the sanctuaries of the Lord's house. These Gentiles being, being the strangers. Wherefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, the power, that I will do judgment upon her graven images. These uh, statues of uh, Jesus, um, like in Brazil, all of these statues and graven images are against 
the Most High's commandments. So you Gentiles, what business do you have with the Most High statutes and ordinances? Okay, so... Fifty two. Wherefore behold the days come, saith the Lord, that I will do judgment over her graven images, and through all her land the wounded shall groan. fifty three. Though Babylon should mount up to heaven, because the so called white man is proud, he's almost reached his peak in rulership. He's trying to bring in the digital currency. And uh, we know that's going to bring on the uh, MOTB. And um, we're, in those, we're in those times now. These banks are crashing and America is slowly but surely falling. Okay. 53. Though Babylon should mount up to heaven and though she should fortify the height of her strength... Yet from me, the Most High, Yahweh the power, shall spoilers come unto her, saith the Lord. A sound of a cry cometh from Babylon, a great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans. 55. Because the Lord hath spoiled Babylon and destroyed out of her the great voice when her waves do roar like great waters, the noise of their voice is uttered. Okay. They like to spread their philosophies and beliefs, and they 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 are they're all they're constantly doing it. The so-called white people are constantly doing it. Fifty-six, because the spoiler is come unto her, even upon Babylon, and her mighty men are taken. Every one of their bows is broken. For the Lord God of recompenses shall surely requite. 57, and I will make drunk her princes and her wise men, her captains and her rulers and her mighty men, and they shall sleep in perpetual sleep and not wake, saith the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts. So you so-called whites are going to pay for your deep-seated hatred that you carry against so-called blacks being the Hebrews. Okay, this is not, this is not hate. This is just for edification, and this is coming out of um, the Bible, King James Version 1611, Jeremiah 51 and 44 through 57, okay? Fifty-eight. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken, and her high gates shall be burnt with fire. Those are the nukes, and the people shall labor in vain. Yeah, yeah, bad money is America's money. Good money is God's money. Gold, silver, which were shekels. Okay, get yourself some shekels if you are within uh, the reach of my voice. Get yourself some gold and some silver while it's still cheap, with the silver at least. <sighs> 59, no, 58. Thus, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken and her high gates shall be burnt with fire and the people shall labor in vain and the folks, the folk in the fire and they shall be weary. 59, the word which Jeremiah the prophet commanded, Sariah, uh, the son of Neriah, the son of Mas, 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 Messiah, when he went with Ze Zedekiah and the king of Judah into Babylon in the fourth year of his reign, and this uh, Sariah was a quiet prince. So Jeremiah wrote in a book all the evil that should come upon Babylon, even all the all these words that are written against Babylon. 50, 61, and Jeremiah said to Sariah, when thou comest to Babylon and shall see and shall read all these words. 62, then shall you say, O Lord, thou hast spoken against this place to cut it off. And, and so-called America needs to be cut off. 
You know, like when the utility company comes and shuts your power off. America needs to be shut off. Okay? Hit the kill switch on this place and shut it down. Okay? Salakia. 62, then shalt thou say, O Lord, thou hast spoken against this place to cut it off, that none shall remain in it, neither man nor beast, but that it shall be desolate forever. And it shall be when thou hast made an end of reading this book, that thou shalt bind a stone to it and cast it into the midst of Euphrates. And thou shalt say, thus shall Babylon sink and shall not rise from the evil that I will bring upon her and they shall be weary thus far are the words of Jeremiah this article has been highlighted I'm going to leave um, a link in the description if you would like to um, read the rest of the article North Carolina is going to be a part of the destruction Plenty of deep-seated hatred against so-called blacks, being Hebrews, being Israelites, you heathens, you Gentiles. Just stand by for your judgment from the Most High, the God of Israel. Um, Shalom.